Is a name brand titanium gravel bike worth paying more than a thousand pounds more for than a similar bike from Alpkit? Let's find out. Earlier this year, I had a demo bike from Kinesis, their Tripster ATR, and I loved it. I'd have bought one, but they didn't have my size. So I bought a bike from Alpkit, a Sonder Camino TI. I've ridden it through leafy lanes of Oxfordshire, onto the moors and tours of Dartmoor. I joined a group gravel ride in Surrey that was a lot of fun. Now I'm home in Scotland riding the Camino on the same route as the Kinesis Tripster, so I can make a direct comparison. The first part of this ride is on road. These 650 rims with 47mm tyres are definitely slower than the 700 rims with 43mm tyres, and that's kind of obvious. But not by much. That's probably because these have a very smooth track down the middle, and they're pumped up to about 50 psi. The second part of the route is glorious down the side of Loch Shiel. And again, actually, the 700s would be better on this stuff, but later I know I'm going to hit some real rough stuff, and the 650Bs will come into their own. That was the stuff, that's what the 650Bs are good at. The sting in the tail of this ride is a relatively steep, relatively long ride at which you have to keep up a certain pace. If you stop, the midges get you. I'm going. A few thoughts about the bike, and as you can see, I've ditched the gravel-specific handlebars. I've gone back to road handlebars. These are off a specialised Roubaix. Done a dreadful wrapping job of the bar tape on the right side. Um, the reason being my thumb joint, this joint here, has been getting quite inflamed. On a road bar, I can put my weight through the heel of my hand, cover the brakes just by sliding forwards. With the gravel-specific bars, because it was flared, I found I had to wedge that part of my hand into the hood, and so on rough road, a lot of vibration was coming through there, and I think that's the reason for that junk there being so inflamed. I can't say for sure that that's the cause, but after this first ride with these bars, my hand feels a lot better. Everybody says the one by system is a personal choice. My mate can't understand why you would want fewer gears with bigger gaps between them, but it doesn't bother me. I really do like this. It's something you really do need to demo before you decide. If you are going for uh, big rides in out of the way places carrying heavy loads, maybe try to get a 38 chainring on the front rather than the 40 that comes at standard and the cassette on the back 42 to 11 will be just about perfect if i'm being nitpicking these clips these clips come off look how easy that just popped off there and that'll flap loose so i guess you could replace those with cable ties nevertheless i prefer the camino to the tripster and this is why the Kinesis is a terrific bike. The one I demoed was immediately comfortable, had internal cable routing, and gave a more refined ride than the Sonder. The design flourishes and finish were nicer. They're in short supply right now because, I believe, they're tweaking the frame design, so it could be even better. But as it is, it is not that much better than the Sonder, and the price is the killer. This Sonder Camino cost £2,400. I ordered it with a SRAM Force group set, and you can get cheaper group sets if you wish. The Kinesis Tripster normally comes with an Apex group set. If you were to put the equivalent Force on it, it would cost around £3,600. That's more than £1,000 more. Indeed, for that extra money, you could not only get the Titanium Camino, you could also get the aluminium version of the same bike. That's two good bikes for the price of one slightly better bike. And that is what we bought. After riding my bike, my wife liked it so much, she bought the aluminium version. The price difference between the name brand titanium bike and the Alpkit version would be irrelevant if the Sonder Camino was rubbish, but it's not. It's a good bike. If you disagree, let me know in the comments and please subscribe for more eclectic videos.